Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is James Ortretzi. Welcome back to an explanation video. A lot has changed in the last year. Um, to be honest, I know I've posted videos here and there in the past year, year and a half, but truly I probably quit YouTube maybe a year or more ago um, and just kind of tried to do it because I felt I, I had to. Um, and I just was, I, I was putting out shitty content, let's be honest. Um, and just recently, I actually had to delete all my videos or private them because I got a bunch of strikes on all my chat roulette videos. So videos will be coming back, like my old Lispy Larry and stuff like that. I just haven't gone through them all to make sure what's okay and what's not okay. I went through a really rough depression. Um, I self-harmed. I self-medicated with alcohol. Um, I was on Prozac for a while, but that shit... That shit... Fucked me up, buddy. When I started YouTube, I was so addicted to attention and being somebody because all my life through school, everybody always told me that I was going to amount to nothing and be nothing and I wanted to be somebody. So I, I went and I did it. I became a YouTuber. I became famous. I showed the world that I can do whatever the hell I want. But at the cost of losing myself, my morals, um, I hurt people, man. I, I hurt a lot of people. Just recently, my buddy Zach told me that back in the day, and although he says now I've changed so much, he said that it seemed like that I thought I was better than everybody. And the truth is, is I did feel that way. I felt because I proved everybody wrong that I was better than them, that I was better than anybody who, who would try to put me down or tear me down. And the truth was is, I was becoming those people. I was becoming jealous. I was becoming angry and and rude. I am not happy with my past. I'm not happy with the videos I posted either. All those chat roulette videos, I'm very ashamed of. I am so happy that all those chat roulette videos actually needed to be taken down because for so long I, I, I wanted to delete them, but I just, I couldn't. Because I didn't want to take away what I had built but I had already lost everything I built because I lost myself. There was a point in time that I was I was ready to just end it all. It took me being in a dark room for months at a time by myself, drinking and hurting myself to realize that the only person in your life that can make a change is you. The only person who was hurting me was me. I went to a therapist for a bit and I talked to him. And I, actually, it was only twice. And he had told me that if I ever didn't show up, that he would immediately try calling me. And that if I didn't answer, he would call my parents. And if they didn't answer, he would, he would call the cops, assuming that I had committed suicide because I was at that point while we were having that conversation, while we were having these conversations. So I tested him. I didn't get a call. My mom didn't get a call. No cops got called. That therapist just left me out there. At that point specifically, I realized that the only person that can do anything to make myself feel better was me. I realized that you cannot depend on the world to bring you up. Now, there's a lot of great things in the world that can make you happy and make you feel good. And I'm sure there's a lot of people like that that can do that for you too. But in, if you are not truly 100% happy with yourself, nothing's going to change. We live in a time where we are obsessed with other people's lives where we look at other people's lives and wow I wish I had that or damn I should probably be at that point in my life right now they're doing so well for themselves but the truth is is we all go at this at our own pace okay we aren't here to read other people's stories we're here to write our own it's really cool to see other people be successful to do the things they love trust me 
I fucking love when people get golden buzzers on America's Got Talent, all right? It warms my heart. But you cannot compare yourself to anybody else. Be who you want to be. B-A-R-B-I-E. Barbie girl. I live by that statement, all right? <laughs> you guys aren't going to notice how much I've changed just by this video. You... A lot of you probably aren't even going to watch this or even care. And I'm okay with that. And I don't want anybody showing me pity or feeling sorry for what I went through. Because truly, I did deserve every single moment of sadness. Because I gave that to other people. Because I was judgmental. And I was rude. And I was angry. And I, I was jealous of the world around me. Because I didn't have enough. And I did not appreciate what I already had. I have fantastic friends. I have a great family. <laughs> and after a long, long time, I got myself. And the journey isn't over. I have a lot to learn. I still have a lot of growing up to do. But I know now that for me to be the best that I can be, I have to be my number one fan. I have to be the person that pushes myself, that that leads myself and picks myself up when I'm feeling down. It's good to have people around you and to vent to and to help you get a clear mind. But you need, you need to love yourself before you can love anything or anybody. Thank you guys for watching. I'd like to upload. Don't ask for chat roulette videos. Don't ask for me to be that guy because I'm not anymore. And this channel is probably dead as shit, but I don't give a damn. Still going to post to it. I got some ideas, and I think this is my, my breaking point where I finally actually go through with things because I've been holding off this video for so long. It's not how hard you hit, it's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward.